Originally from Syracuse, New York, Dave Mira has been the youngest rider at the top of the shortlist of BMX Freestyle's elite for the past decade. Blue Torch caught up with Dave in his hometown of Greenville, North Carolina. We hang out with him and discovered what drives this BMX vert and street legend. Now, I even remember a story about Dave Mira in Mark Eaton's house. Waking up at 7 in the morning, Mark had this, Mark Eaton had this, um, like fake uh, half pipe, and, and Dave took the uh, bike off a, a trophy and was like, next up, Dave Mira! That's cool, man, you're young, it's cool. It was fun doing something different that a lot of people weren't doing, and it wasn't like a, an accepted thing, people respected what you did, it was just, you were an outcast almost. I started doing sprocket jockey shows in 92 when I started riding for Hoffman Bikes at the time, and uh, it, it was just crazy, I mean, really getting, basically the, the most elite guys doing a fair show all summer and $100 a day, basically, and you worked four shows a day. But we loved it so much, we, we kept doing it. Um, December 18th, 93, I got hit by a car um, walking across the street. And uh, it, was, it was crazy, because it put me out basically for six months. They said I you know, should never ride a bike again. I came down here in March 95, and uh, there was a city skate park here in Greenville. Um, Steve Nowak, my brother, um, a lot of other guys here were riding, it was like, man, you know, if it wasn't for that, I, I wouldn't be here right now, I'll tell you that. Coming down here, we just, it brought back the, the young kid riding a bike again. I think having a great group of guys to ride with like we do here now in Greenville, we have guys from everywhere around the world. <laughs> here in Greenville, it's awesome. And I think having a, a great family and, uh, and friends supporting you, I think that's, that's probably number one. One advantage I had probably a couple years ago was just putting together clean, flawless runs. Not necessarily the hardest tricks out there, but I think that what I did is just try to do a smooth, flowing, clean run. Well, most of my skills that I learn out here, I bring to Vert, and that's why I have a little different style, I think, than, than most of the guys. Sometimes it, you know, when, when it's a business and a, a job, and that's some of the drawbacks with it getting bigger. I mean, you, you have to do, be a little bit more focused and, and kind of think about a lot of what you do, I guess. <laughs> this, is, this is my agent right here. Okay, yell it again, Steve. I love the freestyler. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, I have cereal coming out this summer, bubblegum's coming out, and uh, video games coming out on Christmas, little finger bikes, action figures. I'm gonna be telling people how I like it on my website, davemiro.com, so you gotta check that out. How's that plug? <laughs> I give a percentage of my royalties that I make on it to Greenville, uh, North Carolina Skate Park, recreation here, and uh, hopefully we'll expand the park someday, and that's kind of just my way of giving back to what, what supported me. I went to Hawaii, and uh, I met a guy named Laird Hamilton, and, uh, and that guy, man, I look up to him a lot. Oh, he's a big wave surfer, extreme guy. But what he says is if your mind's off and your body's on, then it's kind of still up in the air. But if your mind's on and your body's off, then you're going to be able to pull through out of anything. You got to do it because you love it. And that's the only reason why I have anything I have is, is because I've loved it for 20 years of my life. So it doesn't come easy. But if you love riding a bike, get into it because you love it. For the rest of the Dave Mira story, go to bluetorch.com, click on BMX, and get the lowdown on the hottest rider in the BMX scene today. Coming up next on Blue Torch, one of surfing's living legends, Mark Ocalupo, relives his 1999 championship season when we come back. <laughs> <laughs>